How you doing today, folks? So this is the quick, no bullshit, under five minute review of the Microtech Hawk Auto. Um, as you can see here, we have a number of different size comparisons. Um, Medford full-size Marauder, Spider PM2, SOCOM Elite, as well as a Benchmade full-size Griptilian. So if you have any questions in regards to the size, please refer back to this right here. You can get a nice size comparison right there for you. Um, so in my full-length review, I mentioned a whole lot of negative pieces about this knife. Um, definitely does have some hyper-aggressive tactical designs, very polarizing. As far as self-defense, it would work very well, but it's also going to be very frightening in a legal battle. Um, this stuff does a little more than kind of just collect a whole bunch of crap. It looks cool. It actually looks really fucking cool. Um, but it's not the best as far as, you know, adding to, you know, being able to cut. Like, I have to clean this stuff out over and over and over again anytime I cut anything. Um, this track tech is something that Microtech likes to do, but they do not cover this under their warranty, so this happens to tear or any type of crap in it. This voids your warranty. That That is a really, really big issue. Um, without this track tech, the ergonomics and everything else are not the same. And if you are a company that chooses to have a lifetime warranty for your product, you better warranty your whole goddamn product and not whatever piece you decide, decide to see fit. Um, we do have a nice little lanyard tube here. The same kind of fuller holes design does carry out. Um, the pocket clip actually has pretty poor retention. I was very unhappy with it. Multiple times it slid all the way out my pocket and almost fell out to about right there before I was able to catch it because it was wobbling around so much. You have three different size hardware. So you have this pivot, you have the body screws, which is a whole bunch of body screws, by the way, and you have this clip. So you're gonna require three different torque heads to take it apart. As far as the action, I love it. Um, I've had some issues with Microtech before. A lot of these uh, big button presses, the springs are just a little bit too taut, so it takes so much force to deploy it. It's just no fun. This one rockets out, minimal effort. It is not deployed in my pocket or anything like that, so it's absolutely good to go. And again, it has absolutely fantastic action. Uh, overall, I actually really enjoy this knife. Um, I gave it a 65, which is, a, you know, it's a pretty poor score. It's because these issues have to be mentioned, and I can't really give it a pass. Now, with all that being said, I actually really enjoy this knife, and this is actually, ugh, excuse me, this is actually on loan from Scott at Big Board Knife and Gear. And despite the fact that I gave it a 65, I went out and bought one of these. You know, this is actually his mind still in the way, but, um, you know, I liked it enough, despite the fact that I gave it a negative score, that I wanted to keep it. Um, for me, I have two XL hands, so the ergonomics aren't the best. Um, when I actually, you can actually see it right there. Um, when I'm carrying this knife, my pinky jams into this back, into this um, glass breaker. As you'd imagine, it's really, really unpleasant. Um, there's also hot spots for me in regards to this jimping right here. The clip pokes out a little too far. A um, little bit of hot spot right here. Somehow this piece right here pinches me. So there's definitely a lot of issues with this knife. Um, but despite all of that, again, I actually really enjoy it. So that's one of those things you kind of got to take into consideration. As far as specs, we have a four inch blade of, two, of TTS 204P steel. It's a heavy stone wash with an aluminum handle. Um, and again, a fantastic auto. So if this happens to appeal to you, then by all means, check it out. Um, it is a very polarizing design. You'll either love it or hate it. Um, for me, even though it has some very genuine problems, I love it. I bought it. I'm going to keep it. And that's pretty much it. So as always, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate you all very, very much. A full feature, full length review will be out very soon. I do these little five minute ones first so everybody can have a nice little kind of snippet. And if you have, want to leave it at that and don't want to watch some big long winded ass thing, you don't have to. So as always, I love you all very, very much. Thank you for your time, your likes, subscribe, your message, your support. They mean the absolute world to me. And please do me just as one personal favor and do the best you can to be a better person tomorrow than you are today. And I do promise you, you will find your center in life. And please, please, please take a moment, take a deep breath and be kind to one another. Thank you for your time and bye.